Good morning. Welcome to TMMS Productions, your channel for learning mathematics, physics, and chemistry the easy way. In this video, we will be learning how to solve simultaneous equations by cross multiplication method. In this video, we are going to learn how to solve simultaneous equations by cross multiplication method. You can watch the video about the earlier methods and what the simultaneous equations are in my earlier videos. The links are in the description box. So now let us see how we use elimination method. We have been given two equations x plus 3y equal to 7 and 7x minus 2y equal to 3. Now by and large this becomes an easy method if you understand the knack of it. Now we have to write first the equation as x plus 3y minus 7 equal to 0. So we take all the terms one side so we'll have x term, y term and the one which is constant and that is equal to 0. Exactly the same thing we'll do here as well. So 7x minus 2y minus 3 is equal to 0. Now what we have to now do is write the values of a1, b1 and c1, a2, b2 and c2. What are a, b and c? a is the coefficient of x, b is the coefficient of y and c is the constant term. So for the first equation it will be a1, b1, c1. For the second equation it will be a2, b2, c2. What is our a1 in the first equation? It is only x which means a, a1 is 1. This is 3y so your b1 is 3 and c1 is minus 7. What is our a2? a2 is coefficient of x which is 7. What is our b2? Coefficient of y which is minus 2 and what is our c2? It is the constant here which is equal to minus 3. Now once we have understood this we have to remember the formulas. Our x value will be given as b1c2 minus b2c1 upon a1b2 minus a2 b1. Now you will say it is looking complicated but now let us just understand what is our b1 c2. Our b1 c2 are like this which means they are coefficients of y and the constant term which means if I am taking x I will not take the coefficient of x in the numerator I'll take b and c which means I'll do crisscross like so. So this is your b1 c2 and this is your b2 c1. Getting it? Now let us see if we can get the formula of y. If I took x, I did not take the x coefficient. So when I take y, I will not take the coefficients of y but I will take a and c. But now we will take c1 a2 minus c2 a1. Denominator remains the same. So denominator is a and b which means you will take x and y coefficient and it will be crisscross like that. So it will be a1b2 minus a2b1. Are you getting it? Now let us see if we can substitute. Let us see how we do that. Again if I want x I will take in the numerator the terms which are not the coefficients of x. So b1 c2 will be like this so it will be 3 into bracket minus 3 minus now we take b2 c1 like so so it will be minus 2 into minus 7 got it all right let us look at a and b a and b are this so a1 b2 a1 b2 
So it will be 1 into minus 2 minus it will be a2 b1 which means it will be a2 b1 like so. So it will be a2 b1. That gives us minus 9 minus this is going to give us plus 14 plus 14 into minus sign means it will be minus 14. Here it will be minus 2 and minus it will be 7 3 is 21. And so we will have minus 23 minus 9 minus 14 gives us minus 23 and that upon minus 23 and that is equal to 1. So we have the value of x as 1. Now let us look at our y. Our y value will be, now as you saw, we will not take the coefficients of y, so we will not take this, but we will take c and a, it will be c1, a2. c1, a2 will be minus 7 into 7, minus it will be c2, a1, so it will be minus 3 into 1. Denominator is the same, so I'll copy this as it is. That will give us in the numerator minus 49 and here it will be minus into minus is plus. So it will be plus 3 into 1 is 3 and now it becomes minus 2 here and minus 21. That will give us minus 46 upon minus 23 minus sign got cancelled 23 ones and 23 twos. And so I will get y as 2. And now we will write the answer as x equal to 1, y equal to 2. Therefore, solution set is equal to 1 comma 2 x value, y value within brace brackets. And that is our answer. Are you finding this easy? So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. For more information on the concepts of maths, physics and chemistry, subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell. So you will be updated whenever I upload a new video and enjoy learning the easy way.